Maybe if you're lucky, you'll get to at least split, split the pot with me, and you'll have half, I'll have half, and we'll both be beautiful and sweet. What is chocolate? What is Hanukkah all about? Excuse me, Bubby. Oh, you must think I'm so silly to forget the star of the whole show, quietly waiting in the dark for me to notice the humble and most dear Hanukkah friend, the potato. Oh, yes. The potato gives its all for Hanukkah. We shred it and ladle it around with eggs and onions, put it in hot grease, flip it over on its back, splash it with sour cream, applesauce, maybe both. Pretty soon it might even be digested. This gentle giant promises all year long. It gives us an excuse to make latkes, an excuse to enjoy Hanukkah, excuse to have just one more. So this teaches us that the most common among us, the humble little potato, just like ourselves, can bring happiness, sweetness, and warmth at the holiday. Oh, but you don't think I have it quite right. Song? Oh, you're upset because I forgot the Hanukkah songs? Oh, I'm so sorry, those beautiful songs where we each know two lines and then we hum the rest out of tune. Oh, no, that's still not right. Not the nuts, the chocolates, the songs. You think it's all of us. Maybe you have something there. Manhattan Christmas. Tomorrow, you can see Diana's new piece. Diana lives next door to my hostess, and she's a liturgical choreographer, whatever that means. Delightful. I get to see a free dance performance in Manhattan. Well, that Sunday morning, I head off on foot through Central Park to the church where the performance will be at 10. 10 a.m. seems a rather odd time for a dance performance. The wind is especially wicked, whipping my unsuspecting flesh through my gloves, past my lungs. I'm in my 20s, but I'm gasping and teary-eyed. Mind you, I'm not a winter wimp. I used to walk that terrible bridge across the Mississippi many, many January nights. My Chicago mile to school uphill both ways. Stories are all in mothballs awaiting grandchildren. But cold in Manhattan is different. It's windier and it's lonelier. I'm wearing everything I brought to New York. The duck hunter's ugly down vest is poochy and brown long before poochy and brown were in fashion. The black wool coat wears me down, twists around my legs in the wind. I might as well have left my jeans and my long underwear at home. Central Park is empty. I endure it. I don't see a person until I'm finally heading south on Park Avenue. He's a mid-50s sort of guy in a black diamond mink coat with a well-dressed Airedale. Steam rises from both of them. I am invisible. That's okay. I'm just relieved to be walking along measurable blocks, thinking about my destination instead of Jack London. Oh, I noticed that mink coat, yes. And I've noticed the nice buildings and the classy cars. Sexy ladies from the 80s, huh? These are the East 50s. I'm wondering if this might not be a uh, nicer sort of affair than I contemplated. It's Sunday morning, two weeks before Christmas. Am I heading towards a church service? Boy, is this some kind of special day? I would never go to my own kind of religious service dressed anything like this, but it's too late to turn back now, and I'm swept up in the rush of limousines and taxis discharging white winter suits and ermine collars and minks and cashmere coats in the block. I get caught up in the swirl and spit out into the church. Well, this is about the dance, after all. I head up to the front and get a third-row seat. My urban-trimmed neighbor introduces herself, and everything matches, but it's warm. Oh, I wish I were one of those people who could sit inside or coat all day, but I always thought that was rude and unwise, and now that I'm not throwing my body against the wind anymore, it's way too hot, I'm starting to sweat, I might pass out, the coat comes off, the down vest goes under the pew. I'm that 
lost last decade hippie chick too natural maybe there's something remotely charming in the ragamuffin struggle through the cold to worship and for all its ermine the congregation that can have half nude modern dancers on its altar and a string quartet in the early 80s must be fairly enlightened enlightened perhaps, but my neighbor is also intent to make sure I sing every verse of O Little Town of Bethlehem and has thrust her pointer into my hymnal. Finally, it's time for the dance, my excuse for exposing these lovely people to me. I recall nothing. Thirty years later, it's just my sense of ignorance and surprise and warmth and the space and the tolerance of my neighbors, the true spirit of Christmas that I remember. over the 24-hour mark, Kaylee and I were sitting here kind of reminiscing a little bit. We were. We were about, thinking back. Yeah, six weeks ago. When, about we, when we first decided uh, to do something. something <laughs> that we had to come up with it. We had to come up with the name first. Well, we had to come up with the, the yeah, concept. The concept. We just knew we wanted to do something, and so we kind of sat down together. Yeah, and what Dr. Normal didn't tell us was he was actually filming the whole thing. And so here's, here's an early look at the... What 30-hour uh, day could have been. The four, yes, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, it's a flashback. Ooh. Go, go, go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Nice. You ready? Yeah, mine are all kind of... Mm, so are mine, it's okay. Why don't, why don't you start? I All right. I've got I, some here. I wrote some down. All right. Uh, how about 30 martini day? I drink a martini every hour, and each martini is worth a different dollar amount. Are you able to sponsor any liver charities with that? Mm-mm. Hmm. No. I, I, it sounds kind of irresponsible to me. Here, I got one. How about, how about 30 hat day? Why 30 hats? Yeah. Why hats? Why not 30 awesome pairs of shoes for Cammie? Why, why does it even have to be 30? Because that's how long we're streaming? I don't know if I can hold it for that long. What? You know, going to the bathroom kind of stuff. <laughs> Do you ever sleep? What? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what? what? No, wait, stop laughing because I've got it. No, you don't. It's no, you don't. 30. 30 what? Just 30. 30 it's perfect you should definitely sleep more how about the unsinkable 30 hour day wasn't the titanic called unsinkable <laughs> what if the internet goes down and uh, you need to think uh, about these things uh, uh, what about uh, 30 strange crazy love mean pdx live Thirty. I don't even know what that means. It's a mashup. When did you last sleep, Rick? Mm, I've got more. Mhm. Mm I think. I think we might be done here. Tequila for tots day. We're done. We're done. Okay. What, I just, what, no. I've got done. more. Wait. What? No. 30 hours before Cammy slaps somebody day. Yes, 30 hours. 30 yeah, bucks says right. I fall asleep on the air day. It was, yeah. <laughs> not. <laughs> Just right. imagine if it had been 30 awesome pairs of shoes instead. That would have been great, or 30 martini. 30. Day. I don't think that we would have made it through no, that day. I don't think so. 
30 yeah. Whiffies Pie Day was one we didn't hit no, either. No. That would have been That's good. good. What, you know pie what? An hour? what? We've got someone who's not here, us, that's here to entertain us. So I say oh. that we throw it on over to the Let's Pete Krebs Trio. Yeah. yeah. Welcome, Pete Krebs. All Thank right. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> is calling Emily, Emily. The birds sing in my ears, ringing a melody tenderly. He is for eternity and ends cause she's mine. I love you, Emily, that's why. I show you off everywhere that we go. Other guys dream, but only I know. Well, now I might never make history, oh, but it don't matter long as you're with me. I love you, Emily, it shows.
calling, my heart keeps calling, Emily, Emily. The birds singing, my ears are ringing a melody, tenderly. It's for eternity at Ams, cause she's mine. I love you, Emily, that's I, why. I show you off everywhere that we go. Other guys dream, but only I know. Now I might never make history. It don't matter long as you're with me. Well, I love you, Emily, it shows. Well, now I love you, Emily, it shows. Thank you very much. Is there anyone finer in the state of Carolina? If there is, and you know him, 
show her to me, Dinah. The Dixie Hot Blazing, long to sit and gaze into the eyes of Dinah Lee. Well, every night, how come I shake with pride? Cause my Dinah might change her mind about me. Well, Dinah, she wandered off to China. I went up in Ocean Liner, whoa, just to be with Dinah Lee. Oh, here we go.
the answer to your question. Thank nope. you guys so Thank much. You, that was fantastic. That was awesome. Yeah. So here we are. We've been hey, awake a long guys, time. Guys, yeah. We finally ate some food. That could be good. Thanks, Daddy. Yeah, thank you. That was <laughs> awesome. So now we're going to go back to More Curious, curious Comedy Theater. More, oh, oh why are we but what we would do we is would we say, would throw it to Curious Comedy Theater, but as producer Aaron instructed us, there's you, still no camera Aaron. there. So Every we time, might mention that, hey, no maybe Scotty there. should wave to the camera over here. Yeah. Hi, come wave, say hi. There he is. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. He, he hey. wrote the fabulous name dro name stormers. Yeah. Yes, we just we did, did, yeah. Oh. Yeah. You missed yeah, it. I think okay. we're moving. We things. slaughtered your work. You really don't oh, want to see it. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, I enjoyed it though. Hey. It was good. Uh, what? That was awkward, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh. hey. To everybody out there in, in TV land. Oh, Look how tall we're he good. Is We've got the I'm camera. Sitting. Oh, okay, Scotty, go away. So, Bye. Good to see you. Later. Good to see you. <laughs> Have fun. Hello. Uh, thank you so much. My name is Stacy Halal, and I'll be doing some stand up comedy for you. Uh, I am new to stand up comedy. I've been doing sketch and improv comedy for about 10 years, but stand up is something that's very new to me, and uh, I really love it. Um, I was surprised um, that I love it as much as I do. Um, but I really do, and I think the reason why I love stand-up so much is that it reminds me in so many ways of the first time I ever had sex. Um, you know, like the shyness, the butterflies in your stomach, the nervousness, the smell of fear in the room, the, uh, the bittersweet sting of innocence lost the uh, blurred distinction between pleasure and pain, the spotlights, the video cameras, the monitors everywhere, the people busying around but not paying any attention to what I'm doing. <sighs> the fact that everybody's pretty much forgotten my name by now. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, I don't mind. I forgive you. I forgive you because I love you. I love you so much. We are going to be together forever and ever and ever. Don't be afraid of our love. It's intense. But it's something wonderful. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to pack your lunches and I'm going to put little love jokes in there for when you go to work and when you come home I'll be waiting on your stoop to try new jokes out on you and if I ever catch you laughing at another comedian I will kill you <laughs> I am not kidding I don't like cheaters um, actually uh, I myself have never been um, much of a cheater although uh, there was a period of time where a rumor was spread around that I cheated on my boyfriend uh, with not just one but two different people so at first you know I was flattered <laughs> as any woman would be um, but you know after a while it got kind of old and luckily uh, my boyfriend heard it from me first so his first response was like when do you have the time <laughs> Um, but after he started hearing it over and over again he started to have his doubts and I was like you know I couldn't blame him because I started to have doubts I was like, do you remember that day you tried to call me like 20 times and I never picked up my phone and I told you I left my cell phone at home? Maybe I cheated on you that day and I lied to both of us. Or, or maybe, maybe I am actually a magician and I have an evil twin and I'm a better magician than my twin so my twin gave me amnesia powder and then the twin is the one that's been sleeping around and my boyfriend he looked at me he's like Stacy you're crazy you're not a magician you're an illusionist and I said you're right you're right thank you that's my time Heading, heading on my bike down Hawthorne, just riding my bike. The other day I was just driving my car down Hawthorne. Minded my own business. I was heading to the vegan grocer. 
I was on my way home. I was going to do some grilling. You know, I was going to make some vegan pad thai. My girlfriend grows bean sprouts. I was going to make some hand-cut fries. I got the deep fryer in the divorce. So anyway, I'm in my bike lane. I'm in the clearly marked bike lane, just coasting along. So I'm driving along right smack dab in the center of my lane. And all of a sudden, this guy in a huge SUV drives right past me. I just passed this guy on a bike. Real nice bike. He just drives right past me. I didn't even give him a second thought. He didn't give thought. me a second thought. So I roll up to a red light, and I'm, I'm stopping it, and guess who's there? So I uh, pull up to a red light. Guess who's sitting there? So he's looking right at me. He's looking right at me. I'm so I'm looking, looking right back. back at him. I'm thinking, I know, I know what, what this is. is. So I get the green light, I click in, and I pedal forward. So uh, I get the green light, I just step on the gas and ease on down the road. This guy gets about half a mile in front of me, and, and I knew he was going to make a right-hand turn directly in front of me. I get half a mile down the road, I need to make a right-hand turn, so I put on my turn signal. Sure enough, there's his turn signal. Uh. And I wanted this guy to see me, so I also used a hand signal. Who the hell uses a turn signal and a hand signal? So I uh, made my turn and came to a stop in a parking lot. So he turns into this parking lot and he stops. Guess who rolls up on me like he's got some words? So I dismount my bike completely. I click out and I set my bike down. So I come to a stop. I get out of my car and I open up the back seat. So uh, he's, he's there, he's wearing a suit. I can't, I can't see what he's wearing, what, he's, what he's wearing, carrying. Uh, he's wearing these bike pants. I can't tell what he's packing. But I get out and I stand there. So I stand there and I just look at him, sizing each other up. Just checking it out. And I say, are you driving? And I'm like, you know it. We crawled in that back seat and he made love to me the way no skinny white man's ever made love to me before. Yeah. And then that's when the SUV cop pulled up and things got really weird. Woo. Really weird. Really weird. Take 14. Hi, everybody. I'm Ed Barnum, and I'm going to do a commercial uh, for my business. I don't understand the hand signal, but that's just like my family. <laughs> They're always uh, telling me I'm screwing up these commercials, which is why they don't let me do them so often, because I can't memorize nothing, because I'm going to have to cheat. And... Uh, if I, if I get another hand signal, I don't know what I'm going to do. Say, you ever need a glitter and object for your yard, a flamingo? How's about a stained glass window to look out of while your thoughts percolate? Or my favorite, an elegant wrought iron wagon wheel that sits at the end of the driveway and says, Welcome, friend. Well, we got all that and more at Ed's Bobble Barn and Garden. Shiny orbs, plastic reflecting pools, and little lawn jockeys that uh, complement most trailers and almost every ranch-style home. You short on cash? Well, we extend credit, and we also accept trades. How am I doing, honey? How am I doing, honey? That's my boy, not my honey. Where are we located? I'm sure somebody's asking. Well, just head out east on 26 until you see the sign that says Antiques and Objects to Art. And if you can't read, just look for the whimsical lawn trinkets. Park on the shoulder. Thank you. Is this where I go now? Left or right? Camera left or camera right? All right. Uh oh. Hey, come to any uh, thirty-hour streaming charity events often? Um, this is my first one. Sweet. Hey, tell me something. Do you like to read books? Sure. Great. Me too. Me too. Hey, tell me something. Do you go to the library often? Um, I go sometimes. I like the library. Nice. Tell me something. Do you have a loud, obnoxious cell phones that <laughs> ring? And no, no. No. Okay, good, good, because those aren't looked uh, ha happily upon in a library. <laughs> yeah. No, not really. Totally. 
hey, tell me something. Are you a card-carrying member of your li local library? Yeah, I have, I have a library card. Nice. It's me too. Oh, good. Me for too. you. I'm nervous. <laughs> hey, tell me something. Do your, are your legs sore? Um, not really. Huh? Because you kind of look like somebody I could chase out of here. That's not what I meant. That's not how I, it shouldn't have come out that way. That's not what I meant. Sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> hey, tell, hey, tell me something. Uh, are your parents thieves? Nope. Oh, uh, because to me, you kind of look like you were raised by criminals. So, no, I did not, not like, <laughs> so I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Uh, Tell me something. How's it going? It's going all right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any Irish in you? No, I'm half Syrian. Really? And you weren't raised by criminals? <laughs> no, I'm, so, I'm sorry. No, it was a, from before. It was like a callback. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Should I touch you? I no, don't know if I should. probably not. I'm okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. my roommates, they say I need to go out and talk to women, but I can't because I get nervous and stupid. So I'm here facing my fear, and I wanted to talk to you because you are a, a, a fairly attractive woman. Are you very attractive? You are mostly attractive. You are a good looking lady. Uh, and here I am, but I just don't know. I'm really bad at, you know. Conversa ice well, breaking ice. You know, you, those out. are really lame pickup lines Sorry. that you're using. I don't know so. what to do. I printed them out from the internet, and I All right. I'm probably messing you, up. Do you want the, some help? Do you want some help? If you would, would you? All right, I'll I'll give you a nice pickup line. A nice one. Yeah. Has it worked on you before? Um, no, but I I always thought it was a good one. Okay, sure. Okay. All right. Um, it goes like this. Uh -huh. Did it hurt? Nope. You say... Oh, I don't even know what it was. Yeah, you say, did what hurt? Okay, so, okay. all right, start over. Start okay, over. did it hurt? Huh. Did, well, um, what do I say? No, no, you say, did what? did what hurt? Okay, good, okay. Okay, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell from heaven. <laughs> I didn't fall. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good I think one. that's a nice that's one. That's a good so. one, great. So if you, you know, great. you can try that one sometime. It's great. much better than those other ones. So. Cool, thank you. Hey, tell me something. Are your legs sore? No. Hey, did it did it hurt? Did what hurt? What was I supposed to say in that part? That's when you say when you fell from heaven. Oh, did, it, did uh, you know what? You know, just forget about it. Just be yourself. Women don't need lines. You know, just be yourself. And you'll find somebody who likes that. It's hard to find them if I'm myself playing Dungeons and Dragons in my basement. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I how to, how to, did it hurt you? Did, did what hurt? When you fell down from heaven. Nice, that was better. Do you want to go make a movie? What? Are you busy tonight? We can see a movie. We can, uh, we can go watch a movie. Um, if you're free. Sure. So nervous, yeah? Sure, yeah, why don't we? Okay. We can go. Okay, great. I feel like I ruined. I don't wanna. Okay. Well, yeah, why don't we it's go okay. see a see a movie? Okay. <laughs> That'd be good. Is that what it was? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk off now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. Oh. <laughs> hey Scott. Yeah. Where can people see us? Oh, uh, I'm Scott. This is Stacy and this is Bob, and we're from Curious Comedy Theater, and uh, we've just enjoyed the heck out of 30 Hour Day, and we thank Rick and Cami for inviting us, and yeah. uh, Morgan and Megan and. Dr. Normal and everybody that's uh, taking care of us today. It's been yeah, and great. everybody's donated money and donate money to these great causes. Yes, Toys for Tots. People are working bank, really TV. hard here. Mm -hmm. Somebody was working uh, very hard on some cupcakes. <laughs> there we go. Look at those guys. Look at all these people working so hard. It's a lot. It's a huge production. So call 
or Skype or whatever you do to give money. Call your streaming internet. Call your streaming internet. To advisor. Uh, and Scott mm -hmm. will answer the phone and take your credit card information. He does. Or you can mail a check to Curious Comedy Theater. Wait. Wait, no. No, and we'll no, give no, it. No, we'll no, it no. That's, that's not fair. right. I think that's fair. Okay. Ouch. Dude, that was awkward too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to get out of here. Yep. Thank All you guys. Right. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, testing. One, two, three. Brett, uh -huh. can see nothing. Want yeah. you to say something? Let's check the audio. Um, I'm just telling you. Okay. That's how it is. And then, um, wow. Oh, that's close up. That's far away. And pause is. Just hit that button again. Go ahead. Hey, it's Brett here with uh, FoodCartsPortland.com, and uh, we're here for 30 Hour Day. I want to thank uh, the hosts of 30 Hour Day for uh, allowing us to participate, and uh, we're here to get some food. So we're at 12th and Hawthorne, which is Southeast 12th and Hawthorne, which is one of the late night pods. Uh, it's one of the only late night pods, and uh, it's where the drunk, is, drunk people can come and uh, get their food uh, on their way home. So you got fries, you got pies, you got Mexican, you got pizza, and uh, pasta, and even a crepe place. So uh, let's go, let's go check out some of the carts. Cool, that's pretty cool. All right. Should we keep it keep it rolling? Um, if you no, go ahead and stop. Okay, so those look, those look pretty cool. If you want to um, no, try go ahead something. and stop. Okay. He did some crazy stuff. Yeah, that's really raw footage there for you on, <laughs> on the 30 hour day. It's getting a little rough around the edges as we get into but the But you know what? We have yeah. something rehearsed and, uh, and sound checked and ready to go. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go over to Daryl Lee Thompson. All right, let's yeah. go. How you doing out there in Cyberland? This is what I do to get myself in the morning. Up in the morning, I, I play this little tune.
That's how I start my day. And then oftentimes, we get some pretty strange places. Sometimes you have that one devil and that one angel, or is it devil and angel, or angel and devil, whichever way. In this case, I got them both on one shoulder. Why am I not admired? Bit of smoke, I think. Oh man, the truth ain't not no liar. Oh, but my devils and my angels and lovers, like fire and ice undercover. Said my devils and my angels, my devils and my angels and lovers. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. No, all right, okay, so check it out. Hoo-ah. 
you know, I'm not going to do this to you guys. I, I'm a cowboy at heart, and you got to be in tune. <laughs> or the, uh, you can't channel, you know, the Roy Rogers in your life. And who don't want Roy Rogers in their life? Somebody that don't want to live. That's just my opinion. Anyway. <laughs>